Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. Happy New Year guys. I hope you guys had a great New Year. I know when y'all, y'all probably turned up real. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. For those of you that are new, hey what's up? My name is Delilah. I typically do like to do makeup but I've recently been so busy at a new job and I've been focusing on like my, you know, professional slash long-term career. So I haven't even, I don't even remember the last time I put on a full face of makeup, honestly. But we're gonna get into your January 2020 reading. Like I said, for those of you that are new, I do general readings. So this reading will not resonate with every single Sagittarius out there. It will not. Please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign because like I said, it's not gonna resonate with every single person. Everybody has different zodiac placements in their planets. So please check those out because they will definitely give you better insight to what's going on in your life going to be for Sagittarius, January 2020. My rule of thumb is, is if you have to sit there and really think how this message will resonate for you, this message is not for you. Just come back next week, sis, and then hopefully the message will be for you. This is going to be for Sagittarius 2020. So let's see what's going on for January 2020. What messages do we have for Sagittarius for January 2020? I'm going to do one more shuffle. Whoa. Okay. First card. Oh, no. That's two cards. I like to take one card. For Sagittarius, this is for January 2020. We have the Hangman. And then we have, sorry, I kept shuffling. Then we have, jeez. Then we have the Knight of Swords. Then we have the King of Cups, the Knight of Pe the Knight of Wands wanted to pop out too, but then we have the Ten of Swords. Oof! Somebody stabs somebody in the back. Judgment. Then we have the Four of Wands. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Then we have the Fool card. Hmm. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm getting. The first card here we have is the Hangman. So this is Major Arcana. So this is all about basically just like letting the universe guide you. And I feel like you're also kind of in limbo right now, Sagittarius. I don't think you're, you really are moving in any particular direction. I do feel like you have goals. I'm not saying you don't. I'm also not saying that you're like walking aimlessly through life, but I just feel like you're letting the universe guide you. You're not really swaying one way or another. However, I do think there is very fast communication coming towards you. This is the Knight of Swords. So this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This can be communication through phone, through text, through email. It could also be in person. But either way, it's coming very fast. And I think you guys could be dealing with the water sign. So this is the King of Cups. This is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, the King of Cups is very well emotionally matured. So they have been through a lot. They, they definitely still think mainly with their emotions and their heart. However, they are wise enough to know that their initial decision needs to be more logical than emotional. And I think whoever you're dealing with is definitely keeping their emotions at bay and they're not really telling you how they feel. And especially, I don't really feel like they're telling you how they feel about you. And I always say that like energies doesn't always have to be like relationship wise, but I'm saying relationship wise because we do have the four of wands down here and we'll get to that. So I don't think this has to do with family. I don't, I think this has to do with like a relationship. And I say that 
Because here we have the Ten of Swords. So either you stabbed somebody in the back or they stabbed you in the back. I can't really say who it is. So you guys are safe on this one. I, I can't say if it's you. I can't say if it's them. But this is the Ten of Swords. So air, air energy once again. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You were stabbed in the back or they were. It was definitely unexpected. You had no idea what's going on. And whoever it is is left very hurt. But regardless, there's going to be a judgment call. So somebody's making a decision. And to be honest, Sag, I can't, I really cannot say if it's you or if it's them. Either way, a judgment call is getting called in. Like I always say, tens represents new cycles. So you're starting a new cycle and it's twofold. So this is also about like making a judgment call, starting fresh, having a clean slate. And I think you're like really going to focus on your home life. So this is the four of wands and this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is your energy. I think whatever is going on definitely is messy, but I don't really think you're focusing on that. I think you're going to focus on your home life, focus on family, and focus on what's going on for the betterment of you and yours. Next to that, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and she's all about her finances. She's all about her practical stability, her financial stability. Also, like she's so practical that she probably even accounts her mental stability along with that if you get what i'm saying like i think you guys are ditching the emotions i think you guys are also kind of like putting this relationship or whatever it was in the back burner and you're focusing on the practical things in life as far as home life and your finances and you're okay with that because you have the full card here at the end i think you are 100 percent okay with starting over and the full card is a great card to pull because this is major arcana as well and zeros is almost reminds me of like the infinity symbol. So you're starting a new cycle. You have a 10 here. You have a zero here. You guys are definitely starting a new cycle. Yes, it might be based off of some sort of hurt and some sort of betrayal, but you're okay. You're starting fresh. You're starting fresh. Let's pull some more cards and see if we can get a deeper insight though. I feel like with you guys, I never really truly know what is going on. And that is definitely a skill that I have to say that Sages have. I feel like they they say just enough to make you not want to question any further. But at the end of the day, like you still never really know what's going on. So what's going on for Sag for January 2020? What else is going on with Sagittarius for January 2020? What's going on with Sagittarius for January 2020? What's going on with Sagittarius for January 2020? All right, first card we have the Five of Cups. I don't know. I have been getting a lot of five of cups. People are really like leaving people in the dust. Then we have the king of pentacles. Yeah, you guys are definitely like leveling up as far as finances are concerned. Then we have the four of swords. Whoa, too many cards. Then we have the queen of pentacles. I think you guys are like about to find your yep you guys are definitely about to find your match i was just about to say that then we have the two of cups somebody else got this reading and i'm pretty sure it was ver maybe virgo or taurus then we have the knight of the nine of wands i always say knight justice oh this is beautiful this is definitely beautiful and then we have the king of swords okay Sag. So here we have, first, we have the Five of Cups. So this is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. You're definitely leaving somebody behind, and you're leaving them with the emotional, just, you're just leaving your emotions behind, period. Like, I feel like you're at the point where it's like, look, I put all this emotional support and emotional love into this relationship, but I'm over it. It's not going anywhere at this point. Like, we're just not working out. And you're not just letting them drown, to be honest. I, but look, you still feel bad about it. So I hope you don't feel like I'm coming off as to like you guys don't care. I just think whatever was going on was going on for such a long time that 
And it might just not even be you. It might be them too. Well, you guys are just at the point where it's like, it's done. And here we have the King of Pentacles. Like I said, you're focusing on your finances. You're focusing about getting your feet, you know, your feet back on the ground. Maybe you are relying on this person financially. And now that you guys are done, maybe you're like really on your grind. That might be it. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Relationships are meant to be partnerships. So it's not uncommon for people to share bills and such. And maybe now that it's over, that's what you need to focus on. And I feel like you really are giving this relationship the respect that it deserves and just putting it to rest. And I just feel like you are being very mature about the situation and you're just putting it to rest. Like, look, she's here in this robe. She's giving this a flower. The Four of Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And this represents putting things to rest. It also represents going to therapy. It represents also possibly going to church and just like really talking to God. So I feel like right now you guys are giving this relationship the respect to put it to rest in a very admirable and loving manner. And maybe you guys are also like getting help. There's nothing wrong with that. Because look, anytime there's a pairing like this in the tarot, that means that like there's some sort of partnership that might be brewing or one that might come in the future. So I feel like once you put this relationship, this old relationship to rest, you're gonna find your queen of pentacles who also wants the same things that you do. Maybe she's also focused on her finances. Maybe she wants the practical things out of life. Like you guys are gonna want the same things because this is a divine partnership. Whatever is coming, Sag, you need to let go of this old relationship to get what's coming. And I just did a reading for somebody that had a similar outcome. And I'm not sure if it was Taurus or Virgo. But this partnership is going to be great. And it's going to come after you put this to rest. I always firmly believe that you have to let go of old energies to receive new energies. But that doesn't mean you're not guarded still. This is the Nine of Wands. And this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is known as the Wounded Warrior of the Tarot deck. So you're definitely keeping guard. And maybe this is you and the person that you're about to be with. You know what I'm saying? Like the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you guys both have been through things and are now guarding your hearts very closely. Maybe now this is a proper partnership as to where things are equally given and taken. And I do believe that because here we have the Justice card. And this is represented by Libra. So you're getting justice to maybe old karma. Maybe you've had terrible luck with relationships. And I think justice is now coming in to be like, here is the relationship that you deserve. Here is the happiness that you deserve. Here is the person that has shared, in shared interests and shared goals as you do. Like I feel like that's what the universe is saying right now. And at the end of the day, like you're really taking on this King of Swords energy as well as to where you're just living in your truth. And you're also telling the truth. Because like I said about you, Sagittarius, like you guys definitely are not liars. I will not say that, but you guys definitely are also not very open to everything that goes on in your life. But I think from everything that you've been through, I feel like it's made you mature to the point where now you can be honest about everything and be unapologetic about it. That's what it is. So you guys, I feel like there's happiness for you this year and definitely in the month of January, but that is your January 2020 reading. I will see you guys next month. Thanks for watching.